Hi, my name is Kim Feldman. I am a family physician. And I'm delighted to talk to you today about vaginal discharge. Who wants more than that? We have to start by discussing the uh, most common cause of vaginal discharge, which is just normal vaginal discharge. So physiological discharge, um, absolutely normal. Some people have more, some people have less. Um, it varies throughout your cycle. So as you may have noticed, uh, when you ovulate, you get that sort of stringy egg white type discharge and then that uh, resolves and uh, it, before you get your period. Um, so that's quite normal. And again, it varies from person to person. If you do notice a change in your discharge, there are multiple things it can be. It can be anything from yeast infection to a bacterial infection or also a sexually transmitted infection. Um, the other thing to consider with vaginal discharge is often there's vaginal discharge just from contact. So, um, you know, laundry detergents or soaps or um, if you're wearing a pad that your skin is irritated by. So that sort of contact reaction can also cause some discharge. Um, and again, that doesn't uh, require antibiotic treatment, but it requires sort of figuring out what that irritant is so you can stop it so that things can um, sort of realign in your body. So we'll first talk about yeast infections. So super common, um, people at risk of yeast infections are uh, anyone with a vagina, so there's that. Um, the other possibilities are if you have uh, diabetes with blood sugar that's not well controlled, or also if you've recently been on antibiotics. As far as the discharge that comes along with the yeast infection, it's often thick, it's white, tends not to have an odor, so people get a bit confused about that. They'll say, my discharge smells like bread. Um, not very likely, so it doesn't usually smell very much, but it is a change for people, and it often is extremely itchy. Um, so you can have a bit of a yeast infection without it being super itchy, but we don't tend to bother treating those. Um, certainly yeast infections aren't particularly harmful. You can wait for your next period, see if it does go away. Um, and then if not, you can consider treating it. In Canada, you can treat it with over-the-counter um, medication. So there's a, there's a one dose oral pill that can be very useful for most people. It works over the course of a few days and can be quite effective for mild yeast infections. And then there's also the vaginal inserts and vaginal creams. Um, you can use a one day, a three day, and it goes up to seven days. Um, if you're pregnant, you wanna make sure you do a seven day cream rather than the oral pill or a shorter course. Otherwise, you can uh, try any of the above and, and see what works. If anyone has any vaginal symptoms at all, they often think they have a yeast infection. Um, also, people will say, oh, I have yeast infections over and over and over again and they never go away and, and what's up? So the first thing I always say to that is it's super important to actually get it checked if it does happen frequently because it may be helpful to know is it even a yeast infection or isn't it? So there's lots of other reasons for a vaginal discharge which we can get into. So important if it's recurrent to go check it out and just see if on culture it actually shows up as a yeast infection. And then if it's not being properly treated or if there may be an underlying reason why you're getting more frequent yeast infections, then the uh, healthcare professional can look into that. 